All right, guys, welcome back to Wood Stove Chronicles. Today, I'm going to show you how to sweep your chimney, your wood stove chimney, a six inch pipe. How do you do it? And so we're going to walk through the whole thing and get ready for the fall and winter. Can't wait to start burning wood again. And I'm going to take you through the process. So this is going to be a how to video on how to sweep your chimney. First, this is what we're looking at. I'm going to show you how to disassemble these joints right here. I've got 25 to 30 feet because this is our basement and our wood stove goes Wood stove pipe goes up through the main floor and then into the ceiling roof and then down to the, or excuse me, up through the roof. Obviously, there's Sonic right there. We're going to have to move Sonic. But we're going to have to disassemble all of this, and then we're going to scrape from this point. We, we only have to dis disassemble from here down, and then the brushes are going to go all the way from the top all the way down here and get all this debris. So let's get going. You are going to need a drill. There's my basic handy homeowner drill that I've had for several years, trash bag, some tape that's not going to rent paint off. This can be a really nasty job, but I'm going to show you how to do this in a really clean way. We are not going to get totally disgusting with all that creosote buildup all over you. Step one accomplished. Disconnected from there to there. Now I can get the brush from the top all the way down. We're going to connect trash bag around this. So all that creosote buildup will flow all the way down into this trash bag. We're going to get nothing on the carpet. We're not even going to mess Sonic up. And then we're going to be able to clean this up as well. You can see I actually burned pretty clean last year. And this is where some of the buildup should be. And you can see it's pretty clean in there actually. And I burned quite a bit, but we're going to get it all looking good. Friends, this is what it looks like. Not that difficult. We got tape, we got the trash bag secure. Now we're ready to go upstairs, get on the roof and start scrubbing away. I really love the wood stove. We have just so enjoyed getting that thing together. I've, I've really liked the work. Some people said to me, hey, listen, as soon as you've chopped wood for one year, you're gonna wanna start getting a wood splitter. And it's just one year wood splitter and you're just, that's just what you got to do. Well, I've gone against that. I really just like manually splitting wood, cutting trees and then bringing it here and then splitting it just by hand with my ax. It's just been a lot of, I've just enjoyed it. It's been, it's been good work for me. And this is our first thing that we've been doing. I mean, I've been collecting firewood all year, but now I'm actually doing the first thing to get things ready in the fall. And I'm gonna show you the scrub brush here. Here's the deal. If you have a wood stove, you gotta plan on doing this at least once a year. If you burn it a lot, you may, depending upon places that you're at and what kind of wood that you're burning, have to do it a couple times, you know, once at the beginning of the season and then halfway through the season. For me, one time a year is going to be sufficient. And I've got friends around here that actually only do this uh, twice a year, or excuse me, once every two years. So I think we're gonna be in shape and good business uh, or in good shape in business. I don't know what, whatever, uh, that term is after I get this done today. And here is what the brush looks like. You end up having your extensions. If you've got an eight inch pipe, this would be for an eight inch pipe. If you got a six inch pipe, that's what it looks like. And then here you've got your extensions. And since I've got several floors that I'm working through, I've got to have a lot of those extenders. Now I got to get my ladder, climb up on my roof, and hopefully not fall off. Ladder is in place, grabbing my tools, and then getting on the roof. But I wanted to show you guys real quick. Now you have to remove the chimney cap, and there it is, removed, three screws. That's it, and then that reveals your pipe, and that's what we're going to be scrubbing. And friends, this is really easy. This is going to be a screeching sound, but you can see how this works. And this crease up buildup is not very much. So this is going to be a pretty easy job, I think. Okay, I've now scrubbed and I'm going down to the basement to check out. I don't want to make, you know, I don't want to push the brush down through that plastic trash bag and get nasty soot and creosote all over the place. This is a good sign. It has been catching all of this nasty stuff. And you can see down here is a bag of everything that I've been scraping out. 
from up top. That's good. Okay, so everything up top is good. We're going to go out down and make sure that those elbows are all clean and all good coming out of the top of the stove. That's going to be where the most creosote buildup is. So we're going to make sure that's all cleaned up and then we are done. So right now I got to put the cap back on and then we'll go back down to the basement. Boom. Just like that. Caps back on and we're back down to the basement. I have now removed the top piece and this should be the nastiest of all of them. And you know what? It's not that bad. I probably could have got another year out of this, but better to be safe than sorry, right? You don't want to have a house fire or a chimney fire. So better to be safe than sorry. After everything is done, I've got everything scraped. I'm going to clean around the bottom of the base of where the pipe comes out of. See, there's a little bit of rust buildup. I'm just going to scrape that off. And then we are ready to reassemble. I'll tell you what, this job total, I think is going to take less than 45 minutes. We will see. We've got one piece back installed. I'm about to take this off. Now you want to make sure you tap on this and you get all that you can out of there because you don't want a bunch of nasty creosote dropping all over your carpet. Your wife will not be happy. So I'm going to clean that up before she gets home so she doesn't have to deal with any of this mess or look at any of that. But we want to get all that's in the pipe in the bag as possible before we take the bag off. Okay, since, I just checked this out, since we have some creosote buildup right here, you see that? What we're gonna do is a last step. We're gonna run the brush through this bag and you're gonna see, I just punctured a little hole and I'm gonna hold onto this and we're gonna reattach all of this up into right here. I'll get another video of that here in just a second. And then we'll be able to run that up inside that pipe and still be able to capture all of that with just a little bitty hole, some of that stuff comes out. Okay, so I ended up needing two hands, so I wasn't able to film that, but it worked perfectly, and I wanted to show you this. This is all that we have on the floor, easy cleanup, just a little bit. I mean, you can tell, it's just a little bit of stuff on the floor. I mean, look how much that, better that looks. This looks way better up in there. We are in business. Now time to reattach this and we are good to go. Here we are, friends. Good as new. Everything is in order. And that is how you clean a wood stove chimney pipe. Now we just can't wait to get some fires going. It'll be probably the end of next month, but we'll be ready to go. And then the last thing I gotta do is clean that up. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. This has been a lot of fun. There's gonna be a lot more Wood Stove Chronicles 2022. You guys seem to enjoy that last year, so we're going to do a lot more of that. Very excited this year with the wood stove to run run it without running circulate on our furnace system. Last year, we thought, because the cold air return was down here, that we would be able to run that circulate option and really heat the house that way. Well, what we found out is it didn't save us as much money, and it wasn't as efficient as actually just running the wood stove. We have pipe that runs upstairs through our living room, and it actually heats the living room and the upstairs very well. So this whole this one wood stove will heat our entire house without the circulate option, and we're gonna save a ton more money. We're pretty excited about it. So please leave a rating or review. Wait a minute, this isn't iTunes. Please share, subscribe. Thanks so much for being here. If you wanna support the channel, you certainly can do that. Thank you so much. Until next time, appreciate it.